no matter your note taking style or the apps or devices you use, if you can't organize your notes, they will give you a massive headache. In today's video, we'll be focusing on how you can create notes so you know exactly where everything is. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. For more pro hacks like these, make sure to join our Patreon community to access the premium content on our website. We will have a link to it in the description down below. We are going to go through three ways to organize your notes so you never have to search for anything. You can choose to use one of these or all of them, depending on how sophisticated you organize your notes. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video for a bonus hack and a comparison between tags and folders. There is a reason textbooks have a contents page. The amazing thing about handwritten digital notes is that you can create your own using digital or indexed notebooks. We recommend our minimalist digital notebooks. They are simple to use and they help you group all the topics for a subject in one place. So when you want notes on a specific topic, simply go to the contents page and skip to that topic with just a few taps. We have narrow, college, and wide-ruled digital notebooks that can group at least 15 topics together. This is the first simplest thing you can do to start organizing your notes, to have all your topics in one notebook and have a contents page for them. Tags are another excellent way to organize your notes. They are much better than bookmarking pages. In Note Shelf, for example, you can use them to mark pages you'll need to find a bit later on. These could be pages with questions you need to ask your lecturer, something you need to follow up on, or examples of what you need to share for a presentation. Instead of trying to remember how you phrased the question or how you phrased what you're looking for, you can look through only the pages you tagged with questions, follow up, or the tag for anything really. The only problem with NotShelf's tagging system is that your tags are not universal. You have to create new tags for each notebook in the application, which can be exhausting. When you do this often, universal tags are better. That is why we loved Apple Notes when they brought universal tags to the application. All the tags in the app work across all your notebooks. The app suggests them when you need to use them which means you'll be using the same tags in all your notebooks. It simplifies your organization, which is the reason to have tags in the first place. When you tap a notebook with a tag on it, it simply opens that notebook. You then have to scroll looking for where you found the tag and the tags in Apple Notes are not very easy to spot. In Noteful, your tagged pages are easily accessible on the homepage. The app shows you the name of the notebook and the page your tag is on. You can easily go exactly to the page that contains your tag. You're not going to be wasting a lot of time scrolling. And once you finish using that tag section, you can easily delete the tag from the page to stay more organized. It doesn't actually delete the tag from the app. Tags can also organize your notebooks in Notful they can act as folders. Before we go through how to organize tags, let's look at folders. Every note-taking app we've covered on this channel so far uses folders to group notebooks. They call them different names, but effectively, they work exactly the same way. Nebo calls them collections. Liquid Text and Kyoko flashcards both call them folders. Each of these apps has different limitations and capabilities as far as folders are concerned. We recommend keeping your levels to a maximum of three. When you see yourself needing more than three levels, you probably should be getting a digital notebook to keep your levels fewer. 
let's look at an example for medical school to see the kinds of folders you'd create if you were, say, a medical student. You'd have your years of study from first year to sixth year or fourth year, depending on your medical school. And for each year, you'd have the subjects you study in the respective years. Then you'd have your notebooks. And this is where we recommend using a digital notebook to have all your topics for your biology lectures, for example. A characteristic feature with folders is that a notebook can only belong to one folder at a time. You then get options to move notebooks between different folders when reorganizing your notes. That's pretty much all you can do with folders. You can easily replicate this folder system using tags. So you can have your medical school years, your subjects, and the notebooks in those subjects. The cool thing about tags is that you can take this a step further. Your notebooks are not limited to one folder. So a notebook can belong to multiple tags which translates to multiple folders. So you could have one notebook appearing in multiple folders. Remember how we tagged pages and have them appear on the homepage? You can't do that with folders. In your folders, you only see your notebooks on the homepage and the pages to those notebooks you only see when you open those notebooks which is not the case with tags. So you can easily see pages from your homepage as well as notebooks, which is awesome. You can pin the pages in your notebook to access them on the homepage. If you know you're going to need to come back to a page later, pin it and it'll be easy to find on the homepage without searching your notes. Bookmarks can help. but you need to open the notebook first, then look for the bookmarks. So pinning is more effective because you don't need to open the notebook. So those are my pro hacks for organizing digital notes that have made sure that I know where and how to find the notes I need without needing to search for anything. I hope you found them useful. Let me know which of these hacks you'll be trying. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know what other content you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.